So I've got this collection of mini revolvers, and I really wanted a holster to go along with each one. Instead of buying a holster, though, I decided to go out and get some leather and learn how to make holsters by watching YouTube videos and talking to people at the leather store. When I posted a few videos about that, people had questions, so I made a series of short videos to post on Instagram showing off each holster, and then I posted all those videos together here, and we'll kind of see how the design of the holster evolves along with my skills and techniques, and uh, you see what I did over the course of a few days playing with these holsters. So this first one is a North American Arms 22 long rifle, and it's in the first holster design with the shiny side of the leather on the outside. I was really playing around with the tooling there. This second version, I put the rough side of the leather on the outside, but the basic holster design is there. I wanted it to be easy to take on and off of your belt without having to remove your belt from your pants. I also wanted the holster to look right, you know, in scale with these little mini revolvers, while still being functional. Now this design I didn't really like so much. The snap was in the wrong place so that it touched the frame on the inside. I didn't want it to hurt the revolver, so that design kind of ended, that branch of the design kind of ended there. Then I made a Kydex one. I only did one so far, but I'll plan on doing a lot more of these. This was pretty fun, but just something different than the leather. And this is on a little Freedom Arms uh, 22 short. Another little North American Arms 22 short here. But this is one of my favorite little revolvers and put it in kind of a practical FBI style outside the waistband holster. I really like that holster, really like that revolver. So went back though, really I wanted to do Western style holsters. Uh, went back, this one's a, a North American Arms 22 Magnum Ranger, which is a little bit different. It's got a longer frame, so I was able to work a little bit differently on the design here. Put a little bit more time into this one, playing around with the shaping of the leather. And again, working on my tooling skills. Uh, next up, though, is uh, for the North American Arms 22 Magnum Pug. This is a real practical style revolver, so I wanted to do a more practical holster. It has a Streamlight AAA uh, flashlight there, along with a US made case knife. Now, this next one, I really like the style of this one. Uh, kind of juxta juxtapose the rough with the smooth leather, a little bit of tooling, a little bit of shaping. Uh, this one's for a little 22 North American Arms 22 short. But I think this will also work with a long rifle or a magnum frame. Next up, I wanted to keep my two uh, blackjack uh, 22 magnums together. I knew I was going to want to run those at the same time. Now, normally, I would wear those in a tuxedo, but this might work in like the front pocket of a sweatshirt. This is a little pocket holster for another 22 uh, short North American arms. And I'm not sure what kind of attachment point I might use if I make this a belt holster or I might make this uh, little pocket holster. But again, playing with the shaping of the leather is a lot of fun. Next, I wanted to do something where I use the actual hide or fur or hair or whatever you want to call it. So this was a fake zebra, uh, meant to look like zebra, but uh, I was just kind of playing around with it. And this is with another Freedom Arms 22 Magnum. Going back to a little 22 short, and again, another little pocket holster, playing around with the uh, shaping of the leather. Um, that one I still have to figure out how to do some sort of an attachment point or perhaps uh, sew that onto something. But uh, a lot of fun shaping it to the cylinders. Next up I wanted to uh, try some different types of materials. So this is a standard holster but then you wrap it in, this is ostrich knee. And it's got a bunch of different uh, textures to it. So that's the BC Special with a, a finish that makes it a gold color. thought that looked really good with the ostrich knee. Now another holster that's similar, same concept as the others, playing around with the uh, different types of finish. This is a fake snake, and this is to go with a Charter Arms 22 Magnum. And then my favorite last, the, the most uh, efficient of the designs, it's still got the bullet things up front. It's uh, with a little boot grip uh, 17 Mach 2, so uh, 17 caliber revolver. That's my favorite one so far. So uh, hopefully this inspired people to go out and make something that you might not be able to buy. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.